guys, it's time for Breakthrough with Coach Lou. Coming to you live from Accelerate Life University, XLR8Life.com. Coach Lou will help you break through anything that's stopping you. Are you ready to get the motivation, the energy, the life, and all the success you really want and deserve? With no further to do, here's Coach Lou. Here's Coach Lou. What's up, guys? Good morning, and welcome back to Breakthrough with Coach Lou, Wednesday edition. How you doing this week? How's the week treating you so far? What have you made changes in this week that has gotten you going? So, do you know that you really need more than change in life? Do you ever feel like, you know, I know something's got to change, but I need more. I need more than just a change. Have you ever wanted change and not gotten the change you wanted? Okay, sometimes, uh, like people have said in a relationship, oh, my relationship's gotten stale, I want to change. And they end up divorced, and they're like, that's not the change I was looking for. I was looking to better it, or something like that. So does this make sense to you? That sometimes you just need more than a change. You certainly need more than the status quo of what you're getting, but sometimes you go, all right, I need to change. And then you get some change and it's like, well, that is not really what I wanted. Well, that's what we're going to dig into this morning. Okay, so real quick, before we start today, I want to review what we did on Monday. Okay, Monday, our basis of the entire show was bringing someday to today. Okay, by making a decision. Okay, and the steps to making a decision were pretty simple. There were six of them. Uh, number one was to get clear on what you want and when you want it by. Okay, whenever you make a decision, you got to have some clarity. Uh, define your clear and compelling why. Why do you want this? Whatever it is you're making the decision on. Then you took the top three to five actions to make it happen. Now, if you watch Monday and you're going, Coach, I got it. I have 100%. If you either didn't watch Monday or you were a little shaky on how to put it in, this is your review. Okay, decide on three to five top actions that'll make it happen. Okay, if there's either or or do or do not type of decisions like I do this or this or do this or don't do this, use mitigation to decide. You literally put the, each decision on each side, you draw a line down the middle and you write down the positives and the negatives and you kind of give it a score and you decide from there. You know, sometimes it's blatantly obvious and you go, this is it. This is exactly a decision I need to make. Or sometimes you go, I really need to weigh it out. See, that's like one of those old balance scales when you use a mitigation sheet. Okay, this one's not, no, no, no. This one wins. Okay, maybe, maybe not. But, you know, that's just another tool. Then number five, you committed to taking or creating your timeline for the accomplishment, so you have your map, that massive action plan we talk about all the time. And then it was like, take immediate action here and now to get started. Not later on, not Monday morning, not next week, not next month, not when the weather's not so cold, not when the weather's not so hot. You have every excuse in the book, take it now. You know, you can adopt Mel Robbins rule, five, four, three, two, one, go, just do it. I do that in cold plunge this morning. It was like, I really don't feel like doing it this morning. And I was like, no, that's not, not why we do the cold plunge if we feel like doing it or not. We do it to get the day going. We do it for the health benefits. Okay, so remember, decision is your single most powerful tool to begin any change. Or as we're going to talk about today, transformation. Now, of course, you got to follow it by immediate action. So I'm going to give you a quick story this morning. Well, I was quitting smoking for a little while, you know, years ago. I was quitting, you know, just one more cigarette, next pack, this, that, the other. Yes, I used to smoke. Hmm, confession time, yuck. Okay, I was quitting for a while. While then along comes a thought of baby on the way. Whoosh, done. I'm no longer a smoker. I was a non-smoker. It was just that easy. It wasn't all oh, have one more or when the, you know, I got to quit by the time the baby's born. It was like, you know, now I got bigger responsibility. There's my why. You know, I want to be around later in life for my child, number one. Number two, I certainly don't want my child in the household where people smoke cigarettes like we grew up in. It was a no freaking brainer. Okay, that was 
transformed. That wasn't change. Change was, all right, I'm cutting down on smoking. Transformed was, I no longer smoke. Okay, that is probably one of the fastest stories I've ever told you guys, but that was just that simple. Okay, so what are the differences between change and transformation? The biggest one may be uh, change is automatic. Whether you do something or not, you're going to change. Okay, your body. Well, if I don't do anything, my body's not going to change. No, if you don't do anything, your body's going to go backwards. Okay, if you calculatedly go forward and you take care of your body and you do exercise programs and you are conscious of your dietary, et cetera, et cetera, and you have an active lifestyle, it's going to be a whole lot different than if you're sitting on the couch eating Cheetos. Sitting on the couch eating Cheetos, your butt's going to get bigger. You're not going to feel good. You're not going to want to move. You're going to only want to do more sitting on the couch watching Cheetos. Did you catch that one? I said watching Cheetos. See it if you're paying attention this morning. Comment on this stuff, guys, if you uh, got some ideas for me. So just get the concept of that for now. Change is automatic. Something's going to change regardless. Transformation is actively created. This is what I want. This is how I get there. Boom, boom, boom. You see the difference kind of change is it's going to happen whether you do anything or not. It just may not be the change you want. Huh. All right. Change can be wanted. Okay and transfer or not change can be wanted or not but your transformation is a decision and i'm going for this this is what i'm transforming into not well i want some change oh that's not what i wanted or oh hey it's kind of what i wanted you see the difference transformation is going to drive you to get there okay now like we said before change can happen with no action Transformation is not going to happen with no action. You're not going to go from being a couch potato to a OCR athlete by watching TV. Okay, it's not happening. So, with no action, you can change. It's going to get worse usually. And with transformation and massive action, you can have massive results. Why would you not do that? Okay. See, there's a key here that transformation has certain components that uh, just change itself doesn't have okay so how do i transform coach how do i actually do this uh you're getting a very very uh this is a very fast strong get it done type of show this morning guys i want you to go put this to action so work with me on this how do you transform eight steps boom easy stuff Number one, and a lot of this is going to sound familiar. Put your clarity glasses on. Set a clear picture for what you want. What exactly is it you want to change? Because in this step of it, you're probably still going, I want to change. You might not be going, I want to transform my body. You might say, I want to get rid of this gut. I want to change this gut or this butt. You might not have that initial clear picture, but then when you get it, you're like, this is going to take a transformation to get here. Then you tap into that power of why. Step two, tap into that power of why. Why am I doing this? I got a baby on the way. I want to buy a home. I want freedom. Whatever it is, what is your power of why? I want to change my finances. Why? I'll make a few more bucks. Woohoo, here you go. Here's a buck. Get out of here. I want to transform my finances. Why? Because I want to be able to do this with my children, this with my spouse. I want to, you know, help my parents retire because they've worked too many years and they're really old and, and they're never going to be able to retire. I'd love to help them, you know, semi-retire and give them activity and, you know, that can keep them going. Because I never, you know, you know me, I don't recommend retirement. Retirement's usually the last stop before. So, Yeah. All right, then number three, decide there's no other option. Cut off from. If you go, I want to change my body, you don't go, well, you know, I might or might not do it. I might, you know, I might lose 20 pounds, but if I do 10, I'm all right. That's not going to do it. 20 pounds is my bare minimum. Or I want to add 10 pounds of muscle. Or I want to be able to double my, my run distance. Whatever it is, you've got to decide this is, this is it. There's no more option. Then number four, you get out that pen and paper or you know your, your planner. 
your uh, key to success planner and your your iPad or whatever it is and you map this stuff out draw it out be a kid again okay you don't have to sit there and go I gotta use this exact format draw circles squares arrows draw this stuff out have fun with it guys this is not supposed to be miserable work this is supposed to be fun now here's where the rubber meets the pavement number five you got to take massive daily weekly monthly and sometimes annual actions okay seriously you've got to push forward and actually do the action you've got to take it do it be it you can't just talk about it you can't just write it down you can't just look at it and ohm in a corner and it's going to appear okay there is no secret of oming and it appears Hmm. Life Boost Coffee is my best kept secret, and I'm trying not to keep it a secret, guys. Use my link. She'll love it. Listen, the action is where it happens, okay? You know, you read the book like The Secret, which is great for to teach you how to visualize, okay? Great. Focus on what you want? Absolutely. Is that not getting a clear picture? Okay? But that's step one. What do you do from there? I'm picturing a front row seat. Well, you got to get off your ass and move and walk to the front row seat. Okay, you see what I'm talking about here. Sometimes I'm a little put, little put, give you a little push. You got to take the action. Then, of course, as you're going, you got to number six. You got to measure and look on your map, on your timeline. Where am I? Oh, cool. I'm ahead. Yeah, I'm transforming. Oh, I'm behind. Change is pulling me back. It's the wrong kind of change. Where are you at on that timeline? You know where you're supposed to be in a week, a month, a year, a quarter, wherever you're measuring. You know where you're supposed to be as opposed to where you are. Now, if you're ahead of the game, keep going. Get way ahead of the game because there's always going to be pushback. If you're behind, you better really step it up because there's always going to be pushback. And chances are, if you're behind, you've already experienced some pushback or you're just downright not taking the action. Okay, I didn't want to use the L word there. But we can all get a little lazy sometimes when we think that we no one's watching. Behave in private like you would in public and you'll do well. Okay? Do the same level of you, if not even better in private than you do in public. Don't put on this, oh, cool, look at me. I went to the gym this morning on Instagram and then forget to say that you never went in the door. Okay? You see what I'm saying here? We can live an Instagram life or a Facebook life or a Twitter life that looks glamorous and great. But are you really taking the action? And if you are, that's awesome. You know, that, that is amazing. You're an inspiration. But make sure that what you show is what you live, what you live in your heart. Okay? So we're done. We've been measuring, right? Now, number seven. This is cool. You set a standard. Okay, your standard used to be here when you started. Then you made a decision. You made a map. You, you took action. You got better shape. You got better financially. This is a new standard. This down here is no longer your standard. The problem is, is too many people go, oh, uh, okay, I'm comfortable again. This is who I am. This is who I am. Oh, doing good. Do oh, dropping down. No. That is not the way to do it. Set a new standard for what you want, who you want to be, and also what you will no longer tolerate in your life. That can be just as important. I am no longer, no longer would I take a cigarette if somebody said, hey, here's a cigarette. I wouldn't take one and go, oh, it's free, okay. I don't, I don't smoke, are you serious? I'll no longer tolerate, and I'll no longer tolerate sitting in somebody's house where a bunch of people are smoking just to hang out or something. No, I'll, I'll pass. I won't tolerate it. You're not coming to my house and smoking. You're not smoking in my vehicle. Okay? And those are the things, that, and that's just a simple example, guys, I use because of the story I told you earlier. But what will you no longer tolerate? Hmm. What's your new standard? Make sure it stays up there and hold it up there. And you always got to keep pushing it up because there's always something trying to push your standards down. Turn on the news and they'll try to push your standards down, baby. Now, you want, you want, to, you want to get depressed? 
you want to lose your momentum, you want change that you don't want, watch the news. No, don't watch the news. All right, number eight, celebrate your transformation. When you get there, have a celebration. When you hit goals, celebrate. And doesn't mean when you lose 10 pounds, you go eat a chocolate fudge sundae that puts three of them back on you. Okay, that means you go buy yourself a new outfit that you go, wow, I really look good in that, or a new pair of shoes, or you know, a new heart rate band monitor for your polar or something. Um, something that is a positive reinforcement that you can celebrate with. Okay? It's like, you know, you don't you don't hear people that have been in AA for years go, I made it ten years, so I went out and got drunk to party and celebrate. You know, it's pretty simple, but you'd be surprised. I lost 10 pounds, so I'm going to eat a chocolate fudge sundae. The biggest one they got. Now, you might say, hey, I've done really well over the last six months. I'm extremely fit, and I would like to have a chocolate fudge sundae. That's okay. It's called a zag day. But don't do it as a reward that's going against what you did. Just do it because that's what you want to do. It's okay once in a while. I had a peanut butter cookie yesterday. Okay, not the best thing in the world for me, but I'm not going to sit there and go, oh, I ruined everything I did yesterday or all my clean eating, but I'm also not going to say I'm never going to have a peanut butter cookie again. The thing is, I don't use a peanut butter cookie as a celebration of, oh, I ate good for three days, now I get to celebrate with a peanut butter cookie. No, I celebrate feeling better, and then if I want a peanut butter cookie, I eat a peanut butter cookie. Okay, because in the grand scheme of things, one cookie's not going to make a difference. Okay, 10 will, every day will. Okay, using that as a reward will make a negative difference. But having a peanut butter cookie in itself is not going to, uh, not going to be your reward, if that makes sense. Sorry guys, if you're on the site, I did not have the chat activated. All right, listen up, I'm doing a free event. Well, it's a regular event. Breakthrough with Coach Lou, or not Breakthrough with Coach Lou, uh, Coach Lou Inner Circle for this month. I am offering you a seat if you're one of the first hundred that sign up to join me and see what it's all about. Live meeting uh, on Zoom, you and me, our group talking, question and answer, the whole nine yards. I'd love to, love to have you on, be able to connect at a deeper level with you, get to know you. There's a lot of me I know out there and I know that you're on and you talk to me about what we did this week, send some comments guys. But also, there's folks out there that I know watch that I don't know yet, and I want to welcome you to our community. So use that link and uh, join up, and uh, you know I got a free seat waiting for you. You don't have to pay anything. Um, if you do decide to join Coach Lou Inner Circle, it is a tiny itty bitty monthly anyway. It's so so inexpensive, it's ridiculous. I should charge more, but I want it available to anybody and everybody. So listen up, guys. What did we learn today? What's what's this, uh, the eight steps? to transforming as opposed to changing. Set a clear picture for what you want, number one. Number two, tap your why. Number three, decide there's no other option. Cut off from any other option but your success. Four, map it, MAP, Massive Action Plan. Create it, timeline. Uh, number five, you gotta take that daily, weekly, and monthly massive action. You actually gotta follow through with what you wrote the plan out on. Number six, you gotta make sure you're on course by measuring where am I along my timeline and monthly, quarterly, annually, are you ahead, behind, and adjust accordingly. And then set a standard, okay? You started here, you got your body or your finances to here, or your relationship. Don't come back down here because this is where you think is the person you're supposed to be. You're, you are up here now. This is your new standard, okay? We're talking about standards here. So set a standard what you want, what you will have, and what you will no longer tolerate. And number eight, celebrate your transformations, guys. When you do it, celebrate it with something that is in line with your goals, okay? Now, Friday, we're going to talk about transforming your story because we all have a story. So make sure you tune in live on Friday. Catch the replays at XLR, the number 8, life.com. I'll see you guys on the next roundabout. Live with faith, energy, passion. Have an absolutely amazing day. I appreciate each and every one of you for hanging out with me today. Uh, be blessed. See you on the next roundabout. Ready to take it to the next level? Next level. 
tune in to XLR8Life.com for our live shows, encore presentations, life-changing courses, and live coaching with Coach Lou himself. As Coach Lou always says, live with faith, energy, love, passion, and always live your dreams.